Keith Helson with the Schmidt Music Trombone Shop back with another accessory review and today I've got another one of the accessories that have been super hot with everything going on lately specifically a bell cover um, a couple weeks ago I did a review of a bell covers we were just working on getting in um, those were from a uniform maker by the name of Stanbury but since then uh, we have been able to connect with actually a local hometown source specifically torpedo bags and Cronkite bags now in the brass world trumpet trombone low brass you know we know one of those two names torpedo bags have been a go-to for in the trumpet world for a very long time likewise the Cronkite bags have been a real go-to and all of those are of course now produced right here in Minneapolis Minneapolis. And so since the pandemic and everything that's been going on, um, torpedo bags, rocket bags have shifted uh, their production or added to their production a number of different things. Um, early on, they were doing mask production, um, but over literally the last month, um, they've gone through initially working with the University of Minnesota, um, developed a whole line of masks for the belts. Uh, they call them X masks. Um, they've got a variety. They have the, the entire uh, you know, band taken care of with these. And so given that we got these in, I wanted to give them a place so you could hear them talk about them a little bit because I think they're going to be a fantastic option for folks. So I'm going to be playing all of this today on one of our Lake City TB415 trombones and my trusty 5G mouthpiece. <laughs> Wow. 
while I am certainly no expert when it comes to all of the, the minutia with the pandemic and COVID-19 and you know how everything spreads and the aerosol spray and everything, um, I, of course, and my colleagues here at Schmidt Music, of course, have been doing a lot of, of study as far as what research is going on, uh, what we're learning. And while initially appearances were that you know, the amount of aerosol spray from wind instruments was more, was fairly minimized. Over time, the last two, three months, there's been a lot of other studies, um, evidence that suggests that, no, this isn't really the case. And so, therefore, for, you know, a lot of different reasons, it, it makes sense. A lot of programs, a lot of band programs, and frankly, a lot of ensembles are starting to look to using the bell covers to help to minimize any type of aerosol spray. Again, with the goal of just, we're trying to keep everybody safe. I am completely on board with that. So, so um, one of the things that, um, of course, comes into this equation is, well, what kind of material is playing a role in this? Uh, with some of the other masks, um, where there's a lot of stretch to them, um, they've been recommending not only using just the, the mask cover itself, but actually also using a filter material in there as well to help to catch more of that aerosolized spray. Uh, with these uh, torpedo bags, Cronkite bags, Axe masks, um, it's a completely different material. It's a much denser uh, material, much thicker. Um, I don't, again, don't know all the specifics. Um, I, I talked with their owner about, you know, thread count and, you know, studies he's done with it. And, you know, of course, we're not, you know, saying that this is anything OSHA related, but, um, Evidence seems to suggest that the material by itself is doing a better job of controlling some of that aerosolized spray. And you can certainly see that um, with the bell covers, with the way they're designed, they have them in a variety of sizes. For us in the trombone world, uh, we have the eight inch and then they do have a 10 inch version, which of course will work for bass trombone. Um, and I've got to tell you with these um, bell covers, there is very little stretch to them at all. Um, you know, of course they've got, you know, um, fabric, they've got elastic around the outside to hold it in place, but the material itself really does not move at all. Now, that can, that obviously is a really good thing because hopefully that means that we're not having as much you know, any kind of particulate spray through it. You know, we're helping to keep that closed in more. Um, but it does mean as well that fits a little bit interesting. Um, so again, these are designed for eight inch bells. I tried them on actually, frankly, from seven inch bells on up. They fit, they were a little loose on the seven inch bells. They were just fine. Seven and a half, eight inch bells, they worked wonderfully. The eight and a half inch, it works. It's, it's pretty snug. Um, and I actually tried because I was curious, um, now, of course, most large board tenors are eight and a half inches. Um, a few, for example, the Yamaha Zenos are eight and five eighths inches. Um, boy, I'll tell you, I spent about five minutes trying to fit this on the Zeno belt. Didn't have any luck. Um, so it is, and again, that's, I mean, they are designed to be super tight fitting like that, but it does mean that if you do have one of those instruments, if, if your bell is over eight and a half inches, a uh, fit may be interesting with it. Um, as far as playability goes, you know, kind of like I experienced with the last um, bell cover, it's not quite the same thing. It's, it's not gonna be for a whole variety of reasons, whether it's deadening the vibration of the bell or we understand the airflow and everything. It does sound different. It doesn't ring quite the same way. You know, the, the response is a little bit different. What I did really appreciate with this is that I didn't notice a really any kind of substantial difficulty in response getting into especially the extreme upper register lower register i could feel i could feel a push but it wasn't inhibitive um, what it reminded me and frankly the sound reminded me ever so much of the uh the soft tone meat so if you've seen these these are a neoprene material um, that is actually a really popular a bucket mute um, substitution. You can just drape it over the bell. It gives you a fairly realistic bucket mute sound. Now, it reminded me some of that, but with the soft tone mutes, typically when I put them all the way over the bell, they are so incredibly resistant and restrictive that it's, it's almost unplayable for me. This is not like that at all. It, you know, you're getting a slightly muted quality, but it's completely playable. You know, it, it, it responds just fine. Um, and again, especially when it comes to, you know, if, if I have to have a choice between not, you know, you know, not playing, not being able to perform, not be able to do what I want to do, 
and or I, you know, I get the opportunity to play. I'm working on trying to keep people so safe. I have to have this. Okay, maybe it's not going to be quite like you know my experience otherwise, but I know that I'm keeping everybody safe and I'm having the opportunity to play. I'll take this any day of the week here. Um, and again, in terms of quality consistency, you know, we know torpedo bags, prong kite bags, they are fantastic, and these are no different. Extremely well made. Um, you know, priced really well. And so I think for folks who are looking for the bell covers, I I think you'd be hard pressed to find a better option than these here. And Alex, I'm really glad we've got them in and that we've gotten to experience them and hopefully we're going to be able to put them into the hands of a lot of musicians which means that they get to keep playing rehearsing performing and that's all really great stuff so as always i hope you enjoyed this review if you have any questions comments about these please feel free to leave them in the comments on the video we'd love to have you engage as a part of our community here um, of course you can check out our other videos you can check out the video i did of the the other bell cover from stanberry and of course all of our other videos as well think about giving this video a thumbs up think about subscribing to our channel if you haven't already done so and check us out on social media facebook and instagram so thanks as always for watching everybody <laughs>